right. So, so we're here today to because the learning community really is beyond a group of people who have a common interest. A learning community grows organically with a specific purpose in mind, and members have a shared practice and mutually engage with each other in that practice. This is why HCLink has chosen to incubate this learning community around policy development. So many of the folks like yourselves that we work with are currently involved in policy development, and we really wanted to give you a chance and a space to be able to share about what you're doing and, and learn from one another. One of the big components about learning communities is that they are meant to be autonomous. The scope of the learning community should be determined by the members. And that's why we're here today to give everyone on the line an opportunity for you to shape how the learning community moves forward in the next year or so. So today what we're going to do is go over the history and the background of the learning community and talk about some of the different components of it and then have lots of time to discuss everyone's ideas and find out about how we can move the learning community forward to meet your needs. So how we got here with HC Link's learning community, we did a brief literature review as we do and we also did some key informant interviews both with folks like yourselves and also with agencies like HCLink who are actually supporting learning communities or communities of practice. For instance, we talked to Tamarack and the Program Training and Consultation Center. We formed a small multi-sectoral working group to, to try to get the learning community started online, and then we launched and publicized the learning community just about a year or so ago. Currently, we have about 84 members, and we have thought uh, quite a few times to gather input on what are some of the webinars and learning events that you guys might be interested in using the online platform, but what we thought we'd do today is, is actually um, do that a little bit more interactively on the line. One of the things that we did do specifically for the learning community was a webinar on writing effective briefing notes that was done in the summertime. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend that webinar, but I hear that it was a really fantastic session. So the purpose of the learning community is really um, about real-time knowledge development. It's a chance for you to ask and share and receive specific answers and advice as you need it. As opposed to during scheduled webinars, the learning community is really meant to be kind of a real-time discussion forum. And the topic of the learning community is obviously policy development, implementation, and evaluation. And we chose that topic pretty deliberately because, like I mentioned before, so many of you um, on the line and so many folks who access HCLink services are working in these areas. And we really wanted to provide a space not only for us to be able to communicate with you, but for you to be able to communicate and learn from each other. The learning community is actually made up of five different components. The most important one is you, the learning community members on the line. And we also have a few other components to the community that I'm, I'm going to go into a little bit more in depth. So like I mentioned, most important part of the community are the folks on the line and the folks who are registered. Um, for the learning community. And those are community-based individuals, groups, and networks who are working to develop, change, and implement policies for healthy communities. The second important part, well, really, I think all five points are <laughs> important, but the second important part is the learning community charter. And this charter um, will be developed with a goal, with learning objectives, and with a specific learning agenda. And the charter grounds everything that we do in the learning community and keeps it rooted in the needs of the community members. And what I'm hoping today is that we'll get some information through the course of this session that will help us actually design this learning charter and keep everything that we do here relevant to your needs. The next component I, I'll talk about, um, and I'll spend a fair bit of time on this today, is the actual sharing platform. So right now we're using a big tent, and it's a way for us to communicate and share with each other and share our ideas and information. And we also do some learning events, like I mentioned the webinar we did in the summer, and we are planning a, a webinar series on policy for next year. We're going to be doing that in collaboration with Public Health Ontario. And so we really want to hear um, 
from you in terms of what are some of the things that you want to learn so that we can develop some really relevant services for you. And the last part, I apologize about that word being cut off a little bit there, um, are the resources. And there's a number of different resources. We have daily-ish news posts on the online community. We've got discussion threads and question and answer boards. But we can also develop resources specifically for you and to meet your needs, like blog posts or educational resources or articles. So I thought I'd go into just a little bit of the background in terms of, for those of you who aren't currently signed up, how you can actually do that. So you can visit our website, which is hclinkontario.ca, and under the Resources tab, you'll see Learning Community. Um, we're going to go through just um, a few quick slides about the actual community itself so that you can get a little bit of information about how to make all of that go. But once you visit the online page, um, there's a little link for you to click on and then you can send a request to join the community. And once you do that, you can log, tent, uh, log in at bigtent.com um, using your email and you can create a password. And there's also the very handy, oh, I forgot my password function. In case you're anything like me and have so many passwords, it's difficult to keep track of them all. After you've logged into Big Tent, you're going to be directed right to your home page. And one of the important features of the online space are the discussion forums. And those are all of the different discussion boards where people have posted questions or posted resources, or you can post a question or post a response to one. Anyone can post uh, a new forum by clicking on the forums and start a forum button. And once you've filled in all the information, your topic and your post, you just click on the post, uh, uh, post forum button and then your, your post will be, uh, will be put up on the online space. You can also reply to a post, which is a, a really great feature of, um, of the site that we're using. And there's two different ways that you can reply to a post. One is uh, at the bottom of each post, there's an add a comment button, and you can just fill in your comment and click on the post button. The other thing that you can do is, depending on how you've set up your email um, functions, which I'll go into in a second, you will likely be emailed uh, whenever something is posted to the community. And instead of actually having to go to the community and log in and find the forum and find the box and press post, you can actually just hit reply in your email browser, and then that post will be posted directly onto the community. So that's a handy little function that makes things a little bit easier, too. Um, on the Big Tent, Big Tent platform, you can also make some changes to your profile, and there's a few different settings that you might be interested in. For instance, there's a, a privacy um, function. And like I mentioned, you can also set your email options. So you can set it up so that you're emailed every time somebody posts to the learning community, or you can change your settings so that you get a daily or a weekly or even a monthly digest. So you can customize that according to your needs. You can also change your, plat your password here anytime. So if you need to change it to something a little easier to remember, you can do that. <laughs> 